Welcome to another video all you Linux nerds, my name is Philip, and today I'm going to show you guys how to set up a Raspberry Pi seed box with the Transmission Web UI. This will allow you to take control of um, torrents and stuff with the web browser either on mobile or on a desktop and this will allow you to see the torrents using the Pi as well. So let's get started, but first a few notes. This is a tutorial for intermediate to advanced users. And I'm going to also assume that you have a Raspberry Pi that is running the Raspbian operating system. Now, you can use any model Pi, it doesn't matter. It just have to, has to run Raspbian. Um, I'm going to assume that you have networking enabled and you have the ability to SSH into the Pi via PuTTY on Windows and Mac or through the terminal on Linux. I'm also going to show you guys how to put the torrents on a separate flash drive or an external hard drive. And I'm going to show you how to auto mount that device as well. I'm going to show you a bit of how to use the web UI in this tutorial. But um, without further ado, let's get started. So here I am. I'm going to open up my terminal right here. And I'm going to SSH right into the Raspberry Pi. So all you have to do is type SSH Pi at raspberry berry pi dot local so all you have to do is put the user the default user is pi at raspberry pi which would be your host name whatever it may be dot local i'm using all the defaults right here it's just um warning me about the keys being different i'm going to say yes here proceed at your own risk if this happens all right so the default password is raspberry so just enter that and here we are. I'm going to clear the terminal. We are now able to control the Raspberry Pi via the terminal here. So what we're going to do now is install the transmission daemon, which will allow us to set up the web UI. So type sudo apt install transmission daemon. Transmission dash daemon. And wait. All right. It'll install the new package. Just wait a bit. The Raspberry Pi is a bit slow. Alright, so now that we have the daemon installed, let's start it up to see if it works. Type sudo slash etsy slash init.d slash transmission dash daemon. Put a space and then start. And this will start the daemon. Now navigate to your web browser. Now what we're going to do is type in the host name, Raspberry, then put uh, Raspberry Pi in my case, then put .local after that, colon, and then put this port, 9091. So you see that we can access the Raspberry Pi, but it says unauthorized IP address. We're going to fix that later. So all we're going to have to do is run this command again, but put stop at the end. So let's stop the daemon like that. And now what we're going to do is um, set up our flash drive slash external hard drive. If you just want the torrents on the SD card, then that's fine. You don't have to follow this part of the tutorial. But if you do want to put it on a flash drive or whatever, um, stick around. So let's look at the devices we have currently connected to the Pi. So firstly, plug in that flash drive. And then run LSBLK. And right here we see SDA. This is uh, my flash drive. So keep note of that device. What we're going to do now is make a directory to um, mount our flash drive to. Type sudo mkdir and put it at any directory you want. I'm going to put uh, mine at mount torrents. And I've already made that directory. The next thing we're going to do is mount the flash drive. Type sudo mount the device, dev sda1 in my case, and then the mount point, mount torrents in my case. And now we've mounted the device. The next thing we're going to do is make two folders in mount torrents. Complete and in incomplete. Complete will house our complete torrents where they'll be ready to be seeded, while incomplete will be um, housing our downloading torrents. So type sudo mkdir slash mount torrents slash complete. We're going to do the same with incomplete here. And there we go. The next thing we're going to do is change ownership of that directory, mount torrents, to the Pi user. Type sudo chown pi colon pi then mount torrents. 
and I will change ownership of that directory. So now let's finally configure the daemon. The first thing we're going to do is um, configure the etsy initdtransmission daemon file. So type sudo nano etsy init.d transmission daemon. And what we're going to do is go to where it says user, and we're going to change it to pi. This is the default user. Use whatever user you like. And then we're going to control X, Y, enter. And now the next thing we're going to do is change the settings.json file for um, the daemon. So type sudo nano var slash lib slash transmission dash daemon slash dot config slash transmission dash daemon slash settings dot json. You will not be able to tab complete this part as it is sim linked. So the first thing we're going to do is go down to download dash dir and we're going to change this to the flash drive. Leave it as default if you just want to have it on the SD card. So in my case it's at mount torrent torrents slash complete and then we're going to go down to incomplete dash dir and change this to mount torrents incomplete in my case. Now we're going to keep going down and go to rpc dash password right here. So just erase everything on that line and type in the password you want. I'm going to use password just for the sake of demonstration. Now we're going to go down to rpc dash username, change this to whatever you fancy. I'm going with donut deflector. Another thing you can do is change the port, rpc-port, if you don't like 9091. Just remember to choose a port that is over 1000, as anything below that is reserved for the system. The next thing we're going to do is go down to rpc-whitelist-enabled, change this to false. And now control X, Y, enter. And let's start up the daemon again. and it started the daemon. Let's move to our web browser and let's reload this page. As you can see, it's asking for authentication. Let's give it our credentials that we specified in the settings.json file. And here we are, we are connected to the Raspberry Pi and now we can add torrents and such. So let's add a torrent. You can do this by clicking on this folder here and you can either upload torrent files like this and then clicking upload and it will start downloading the torrent or you can also enter a URL you can do this by going to a torrents page let's go to Arch Linux and I'm gonna go to BitTorrent download and you just have to copy the magnet link right click copy link location go back here and just paste it in and upload that As you see, uh, the magnet link is now downloading. So that's how you add torrents. And you can see it's going to mount torrents complete after it's done, and it'll start when it's added. So you can view information about these torrents by clicking on them and then going to this eye icon over here. And you can see some just basic information, the peers you're connected to, some tracker stuff, and all those kinds of things. You can also change settings with uh, this thing down here the wrench and you can do things such as download um, uh, seeding stuff and all those things that you would normally be able to do with the desktop transmission clients it's got a whole lot of uh, features and you can go to this cog right here and then statistics to see how much you've seeded and downloaded and all those kinds of things you can also access this on mobile and I've done it on an iPhone before so pretty cool I'm going to go back to the terminal though, and I'm going to show you guys how to auto mount that flash drive. So we're going to have to just edit our FS tab to do this. Type sudo nano etsy slash FS tab. Now all we have to do now is um, fill in some information about that flash drive slash hard drive. So we're going to have to specify that device, SDA1, that partition, and then our mount point, mount torrents in my case. Then we're going to specify the file system. I'm using NTFS. And then we're just going to put defaults. 
zero, and then zero. And that should be all. Control X, Y, enter. So now when we boot up the Pi, it'll automatically mount the flash drive, and we don't have to worry about that. And there you have it. The transmission daemon will start up by default, and the flash drive will be automatically mounted. So that's all I have for you guys today. Enjoy your Raspberry Pi seed box, and I'll see you all later. Bye.